The Battle of the Bismarck Sea was a battle fought in 1943 in Southeast Asia during World War II between the Japanese Navy and the U.S. Air Force. The battle took place near New Guinea, the northern part of the island, as well as the surrounding islands, including New Britain, remained occupied by Japanese forces, while Allied forces had already liberated the southern part of New Guinea. The game is based on the decision General Kenny had to make. General Kenny received intelligence reports indicating part of the Japanese Navy was about to sail from Rabaul to Lai. General Kenny's mission was to intercept the convoy and inflict the maximum possible amount of damage. Kenny also received weather reports indicating that rain and poor visibility was predicted for the area north of New Britain. The Japanese commander had two possible courses of action. He could sell his convoy north of the island or go south of the island. Any of these routes would take three days to sail. General Kenny had also two possible strategies. Concentrate most of his reconnaissance aircraft along the northern route or along the southern route. Since both commanders had two possible strategies, there were four possible outcomes. Let's see each of these possible scenarios. The first scenario shows the U.S. Air Force's bulk of airplanes north of New Britain and the Japanese Navy taking the northern route. Because of poor visibility, the convoy wouldn't be discovered until the second day, allowing for two days of bombing. The second scenario shows again the U.S. Air Force focus on the northern part of New Britain, but in this case, the Japanese take the southern route. Because of limited reconnaissance south of the island, the convoy could be missed during the first day, allowing once again for two days of bombing. The third scenario shows the main part of the U.S. Air Force south of the island and the Japanese Navy taking the northern route. Considering poor visibility north of the island, plus limited reconnaissance, the convoy would be missed for two days, allowing for just one day of bombing. The fourth and last scenario shows the U.S. Air Force concentrate on the southern part of the island and the Japanese taking the southern route. In this case, Having the majority of airplanes in the area and having good visibility, General Kenny would hope for three days of bombing. Let's put these scenarios in a matrix. In game theory, the Battle of the Bismarck Sea would be considered a simultaneous game. We can solve this game analyzing the dominant and dominated strategies. The way to proceed is to eliminate for each player every strategy that seems unreasonable. In this game, Kenny has no dominant strategy, since the sum of the payoffs of the first strategy equals the sum of the second strategy. However, the Japanese do have a weakly dominating strategy, which is to go north, since the sum of payoffs is strictly better. Since for the Japanese, the strategy go north, weakly dominate strategy go south, we eliminate the strategy go south for the Japanese. Now that we only consider the Japanese going north, Kenny's strategy go north is strictly dominant over strategy go south, which will be eliminated. Therefore, north north is the weak dominance equilibrium. This game is just one of many examples of how game theory can be applied to various fields, including military operations. By the way, General Kenny made the right decision. He won the battle.